we need to come up with the formula for this graph. So as you can see, this is gonna be the absolute value function, the pretty distinct V shape going on here. It looks like this one's upside down, but how we wanna get started on this is identify this point where our two line segments come together. So that's gonna be at negative one, two. And where that helps us out is we can think transformations of our absolute value function. So I'm gonna start out and just call this one f of x. We've got this absolute value function. We're gonna have x and we're gonna attach the one directly inside the absolute value to the x. Um, we want this to move to the left one. So we're gonna add one directly to x and that's gonna produce that left movement. Next thing we wanna do is we wanna move everything up two. So I'm gonna to add two to the entire function. If I wanted to move everything down to, I would be subtracting there. And if I wanted to move everything to the right one, I'd be subtracting one directly from the X. So it feels like um, we've kind of moved around our, our point where it normally starts at the origin, um, but we've moved it to the left one and up to. Now there is one other thing we have to be careful of as we're doing this. There may be some sort of multiple out in front here. I'm just going to call it A for right now. We can account for that. Could either be a stretch or a compression, could be a vertical reflection. Um, I think it will be vertically reflected on ours, definitely. So we're looking to have a negative out there for the A. But how we nail this down and get to that exact value for A is we're gonna identify one more ordered pair that's on our graph. Now we've got a lot of different possibilities here. Um, looks like one, one, three, zero, five, negative one, negative three, one, negative five, zero. Got a lot of different options here looking at our graph. Um, I'm gonna go with three, zero. Um, nothing special about that. Just picked it out. It's a point that's on the graph that we're trying to create. All right, now that three is gonna be an X value and the zero is gonna be an F of X or Y value. What I'm gonna do next is simply substitute them in over on the right-hand side with this function that we're creating. So I'm gonna put zero in for F of X and I'm gonna put three in for x. Okay, from here we have an equation that only has one unknown. We don't know what a is, but we can solve that down because everything else is constants. So the first operation we may go ahead and do is say, well, three plus one makes four inside the absolute value signs over there. And then the absolute value of four is four, a positive four times a will be four a. Bring along that plus two. Now the rest of the sol solving down shouldn't be too bad. We'll subtract two from both sides and divide both sides by four. Okay, this will produce A equals negative one half with a little reducing down. From here, all we need to do is take this back up to the original function that we were creating, replace it back in where that A was, and our fi final result is gonna be F of X is negative one half times the absolute value of X plus one with a plus two on the outside. And that's gonna be the function that produces the graph that was given to us from the beginning. All right, hope this helps out. Just take your time, shouldn't be too bad. Good luck.